Hello everybody, d -Rezzed here with yet another Minecraft Survival video here. And I spent a little bit of time cleaning up the mushroom cave and I think it looks pretty good. Oops, sorry. So what I did is I turned it all into cobblestone walls so it doesn't look like all patchy, you know, black and white and dirt and, you know, just normal stone. But... This is what I ended up doing is I put all these, as you can see, all these brown mushrooms on one side and all the red ones on the other. So the, the technique here is all of the ones that are on the floor, if another mushroom should grow, like on the dirt, you'll know that it's a new mushroom and that you can pick it. You'll leave the ones on the cobblestone here and then the ones that are on the shelves over here, same kind of method you leave those untouched and any other mushrooms that should grow in any area sometimes they can grow as far over as like two blocks I've seen but uh, you leave the ones on the cobblestone alone now the walls alone and pick all the rest the same thing goes with the red ones put them all along the walls and on the cobblestone pieces here and just pick whatever pops up. Unfortunately, nothing has popped up, but we'll check back periodically uh, to see if anything pops up. It could be a lengthy process, but uh, the the kind of mentality behind this is that, and it's not that you have a problem with finding food in this world. It's not a problem at all. It's just one of those kinds of things that you can take some time to make your own little mushroom caves, and I've seen quite a bit of different techniques of mushroom caves but this is my preferred method and the more mushrooms you put down the more you're gonna get but uh, I'm gonna show you here I'm gonna create a bowl which you gotta go over to the tool and weapon section scroll over to the buckets one below that and you can make a bowl and it makes pay attention it makes four bowls so you don't want to you know hit the thing like three times and have oh my god I got 12 bowls I'm gonna make eight bowls so you can take your bowls and I'm, I'm just going to take four of them right now because I only, well, I guess I could take them. Put this right here. I can only make three mushroom stews anyway, so I'm going to stash five of those bowls. And then I'm going to go back into this menu, go into the food menu. And you can see right here, mushroom stew requires a wooden bowl, a brown mushroom, and a red mushroom. So you can make three of those because currently I have three reds and four browns so boom boom and then if you want to see the description restores three meat pops so that's about I think let's see what the equivalent of this is yeah, four so I think meat is gonna be four but you know you can take those and put them up in here and if you're down here I don't need those if you're ever down here and you need, you know, food or you just want to be able to, you know, grab a nice thing of mushroom stew while you're down here working hard in the mine, you can go ahead and grab it. So, yeah, I cleaned that up a little bit. It looked a little bit sketchy before. Uh, another thing we're going to go over, and I just need to go into my chest and grab a couple materials here. Grab some of this. Thought I had some of this. Hmm. So this is what we're gonna do. Hopefully Frank doesn't get any ideas. We'll just dig our way out of here. Throw that down. Wait. Probably not a good idea either. <laughs> I guess if Frank is dumb enough to jump down in our little project area, then we'll be looking for a new house chicken. Let's see here. What we're going to do here is create kind of a safe way for a item destroyer type thing. I mean, I can't even come up with the, the proper name for it. Well, what it does is when you're going to throw it in here, 
you're gonna destroy items. It's like if you have a bunch of unwind them things. You know what? I knew he was gonna do that. Oops. Um. <laughs> I don't want Frank to die, so I guess I'm just going to try to shoo him out of here. And before we put our cactus down, we'll just kind of coax him out of that. Sorry, Frank, you're not dying today, but I do need you to get out of that hole. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Look what I got. Come on. Why are you being a dick? There you go. Alright, cool. So now we gotta be slick about this. Oops, I need that. Give me that. And shut that. So Frank doesn't get any ideas about coming in anymore. So, you got your little incinerator here. So when you chuck stuff in here, it gets destroyed right away. Then you can throw, you can throw like a bunch of stuff in there and it'll destroy it right away. So you get yourself a nice little in-house incinerator. Um, some of the things that you do, like I don't like to use lava because it's it's pretty darn dangerous. But uh, you can put up a half slab, and I think I might have one. Yeah, I got some right here. Okay, Frank, get your butt over here. You're just being annoying today, aren't you? You can throw this half slab up well, right there. So you never have, it'll be up. And I know Frank's like a block high and he can go in there. But if you have lava or if you have a cactus that's you're going to be destroying items with, you'll never be able to walk into it because you got this, I don't know, you could call it like a, a I guess we got a little rabbit coming to visit us. Uh, you'll never have the opportunity to walk in there because you're just, you know, you're two blocks tall. And that's just, I don't like using lava because you can burn on it. It'll pop. And you don't want to use lava next to wood blocks because it will catch on fire. So that being that, we'll move on to the next item of business. Let me see, collect some more items here. Um, and I actually have been really lucky when I was digging out my my mushroom cave I ran into a lot of you know what I'm tired of not having a workbench in here I'll just throw one up right there I'll show you a neat little idea here not an idea <laughs> Stolen idea. Kind of looks like a table, you know, like a bedside table. Now you could, you might be able to put a clay pot on that. If not, you know, put a little flower in there, make it look nice. But uh, you know, kind of like a homey, homey kind of look here. And you can knock this out so it doesn't have that little, that little, I don't know, that little support bar in there. But uh, yeah, it's uh, ran into a lot of iron, so I'm gonna make myself a suit of armor real quick. And put all that on. Boom. So d -res is fully outfitted in iron armor. Maybe someday we'll be high speed and get some diamond armor. But, uh... Yeah, 
let me see, grab here, grab this, grab that. I'm gonna show you now how you can dye stuff. So you go into the decorations menu and anything that you can you can turn into dye. Some of the most simple things that you can find like the yellow flowers or the red flowers. Uh, let me see what this is, lapis can be turned into blue dye and then you got pink dye which I don't know what the fuck that is. It doesn't really tell you what it is. That's eh, dumb. Red rose. Okay, rose you can turn into red. Uh, magenta requires a lilac. So what was that other one? Dandelion. Red rose and bone meal. Okay, that's what that was. Okay, red rose and a dandelion. Should be. Okay. Okay, cactus green. But the thing with cactus green is that you have to throw it. You have to throw it in. Uh, We'll just take one of these. You throw it in the furnace, and it it cooks it down into a dandy or a, a cactus green. So then, and there you have it, cactus green. So you go back into this menu here, find that again, and you should be. Able, well, I bet you I went the other way. Looks like cactus green can be used in different ingredients here. So cyan dye. And then this one is like gray, so that other thing over there that looks like a kind of like a golf iron, it's an ink sack. Oh, there's a lot more than I thought there was. Look at all this. Okay, where'd you go? Okay, so. Okay, so lime dye, if I had bone meal and uh, the cactus green, I could make a lime colored dye, so. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make red yellow Let me check something real quick. I really don't want to have these weird colored uh, Weird colored sheep So I just might make it and Might have to just dye them and then Yep, that's what I'm gonna have to do after I dye these sheep. Oh, yeah, I added some uh, some uh, I had to go into the swamp biome not too far from here and look for slime so uh, I took down some swamp tree vines and threw them on my house because later when we go and start building the tower it's kind of cool to have that crawling down the side of it so okay so this take that and that so Okay, where's it? there it is. So it's it's real simple. All you do is you go up to a sheep, you got your die in hand, left trigger turns them into a red one, and then you can take your shears and shave them, and then you'll have red cotton pieces that you can use in order to uh, make like carpet. Out of the way, buddy. So let's go take a look at that real quick. Okay, blocks. No, it's not going to be that. I think it's going to be the decoration. So, yeah, you get... And then you can dye normal. Like, if you were to shear the sheep and you get the normal kind of stuff uh, to to dye the wool, you can see here that it's going to be... I guess it doesn't tell you what color this is. Maybe orange wool. Yeah. Durr. Okay, magenta. You know, so you get the picture, right? So, anyways, just give me a moment here while I slaughter my cows because there's too many of them. Doing good in the steak department too because Oh wow, there's a lot more cows than I thought there was. I wonder if some spawned in here. That that's possible. So I'm only doing this because like later on I am going to have to so look at all that steak. I'm gonna go ditch some of this stuff real quick. But later on I'm going to have to start my library, which I actually found another village not too far from here as well. And looted it, and they actually had a librarian, so I was able to take some of his stuff. Uh, let me bring it up on the map. So if you look... Let me see. I think it was in the northwestern section where those dark 
areas are at. It wasn't a very big village at all, so there's a couple of spots over there in the northwest where it's just... There's still the, the fog of war on it, but I believe that was the village that I was in. And then I ended up having to go due west where that first big big lake is not the one that's more southern but the one that's kind of just northwest from here I had to go oh, threw my map down I had to go there and well actually I had to look around until I found it but I finally found some some uh, some slime and I thought I actually heard one come, come on. there you go that's a good boy but I found some slime, and I had to murder their faces in order to get some slime, because I needed some stick sticky pistons. I guess I'll have to grab some seeds out of here, so. Haha, <laughs> too slow, suckas! Um, yeah. I'm gonna grab some carrots real quick and feed them. Oh, six piggies. So next time I come around, I'm going to get my bacon and eggs on. Let's go ahead and harvest this here. Throw that back in there. Okay, you see this is a well, sugar king. They used to call it something else, but you use this. We'll go over to this workbench here to show you. So you go over to decorations again and go over to this section. And once you get sugar cane okay I guess it takes three sugar cane to make a single piece of paper and then after that you'll need a piece of leather and three pieces of paper in order to make a book and then from there you can make a bookcase with some planks and three books so we'll do that later on with our for our enchanting table but I just got six reeds out of that well reeds they're sugar canes and they grow faster when they're put on uh, sand so just keep that in mind, I guess, when you're trying to make. At this point, I really don't care because I'm not that close to making. You guys are hungry again? Getting dark. i got to head back to the house. Yeah, so one of these days soon, I think we're going to get get around to our enchanting table. And do some enchantments too. I wanted to go and make another portal and go mucking about in that, but I really don't feel too safe about doing that just yet, especially when I'm level 26. I think after we do our first enchantment, we can we can go ahead and start exploring the Nether. I would feel okay about that. So here we are, me and Frank. In our house. Got another fruitful day. Appreciate you guys joining us here on the Minecraft. And uh, we'll see you next.